Hey guys, it's garden tour day number, I can't remember, <laughs> but uh, we're back in the garden. Uh, some things are getting ready to be pulled out, like the cucumbers, and then I'm going to do another round of those. And then others are flourishing, like I've got some midget melons that are doing really well. Um, tomatoes are, my big slicers are just starting to blush. Um, and I've had a few, unfortunately the dog got to a couple of them before I could eat them. Um, gotta love a dog that loves vegetables. But uh, let me take you around and show you some of the stuff that's growing. And I'll be getting my hair cut today, finally. <laughs> so I may show you a little bit of that um, at the end. So. Now, I'm pretty excited for these because they've got about six of these nest egg gourds um, that are growing on this trellis. And then there's one, of course, hiding down here. It hasn't been munched on. Yeah, that one is a little munched because it was on the ground. But it's okay. The beans, uh, the Scarlet Runners are just going crazy. They have completely taken over this trellis. Um, I've got a couple beans on there, um, but they are running like crazy. And a few of them are really big. And then I've got my cucamelon vine has snuck in here with it, so I'm gonna have to go searching for cucamelons. And as you know, the cucumelons are still doing really well. They've got a little bit of uh, beetle, flea beetle damage, but they're doing really well. But the cucumbers, not so much. They're pretty much gone. I'll have to replant these and get a second round for uh, the fall. But they're gone. And... I do have water running in the background. I was watering some of the plants and just kind of stuck it in one of the beds for a minute. Um, so, sorry about the water noise. And yes, this poor garden row of tomatoes never did recover. They collapsed. Um, they're still producing tomatoes. They just won't stay up anymore. Um, this netting is just not efficient for the weight of the cherry tomatoes. So. This will be taken down, and next year I'll put up um, one of the cattle panels. But it was what I had at the moment, so live and learn. And then, of course, some of these tomatoes fell over when these these fell over when these knocked them over. So, oh well. But uh, they're coming along. I spy a yellow one that's just about ready. Hiding in all the foliage. Oop, and another. Here's the pollinator at work. There were a couple of more in there. But they already, oh, there they come back. Strawberries are going wild. Got lots more of those. They need to find a permanent home since their home is a little tiny right now and they keep busting out of it. But we've got more of these guys that fell over. They're the red variety of the uh, pear tomato. Lots of clusters on here. Now the cucumbers in the garden are still trying to hold on strong. Um, that one's already gone to seed. But this one is stretching and producing a couple more flowers. 
So I'll try to leave that plant when I do my planting of the new ones. But some of these others, they're just sad. And this tomato is uh, seeing a bit of the uh, blight. This is the uh, orange Kentucky, Kentucky orange. And it's tried to produce a lot of fruit, but a lot of them have just fallen off. Um, or a few of them have had this. A little bit of rotting on the bottom. I think it's because of inconsistent watering. Uh, this plant hadn't been watered as much as the other ones. So, it's got a lot of fruit on it. I'm just hoping I get at least one Kentucky orange tomato off of it. But then the peppers are doing really well. Here we go, haircut time. I'm back. It's so much lighter. Oh my goodness, you have no idea how much lighter it is. This feels so nice. Um, and I forget how many colors are in it um, until it's straightened. Um, and yeah, these are all natural colors. I've never colored my hair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's so nice. But it's short again. It's no longer going. <laughs> Wait, though. <laughs> Once it gets wet, it will go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah thanks guys
Well, we got almost a full basket today. <laughs> I've still got to check the other side of the yard, but looking very colorful. Well, as you can uh, tell, I'm back from my haircut. Um, and I just collected a whole bunch of tomatoes as the dog is trying to eat. So I'm trying to get them before he eats them. Whoa. Um, oh no, he's eating another one. <laughs> Oops. But anyway, since the crazy dog is eating most of my tomatoes, I'm having to pick some of them that aren't quite ripe yet um, and just letting them uh, finish ripening in the house because he thinks they're all for him. And oh my goodness, <laughs> you guys have got to see this. Look at this squash that is hanging off the teepee. I have no idea what kind it is. Um, I honestly don't even know if it's any good. I'm gonna have to uh, come back out and check on him and see if it's even edible. But oh my goodness, it's hiding in the foliage. Still a bit of a jungle, but it's going to be because there's no taming this. <laughs> the support system fell down, and at this time of year, I'm just going to leave it. Um, as I said earlier, it's, I'll just change it up for next year. Um, but yeah. Well, 
So that's it for today. I'm going to take these tomatoes in and uh, do a little tomato roasting so I can have them with dinner tonight. Maybe do a roasted tomato and pepper uh, pasta maybe. But uh, it's a good weight. I'll, uh, I'll weigh them when we get inside and I'll let you know how much they weigh. The rest of the tomatoes that are sherry are 1 pound 12.3 ounces. Nice little harvest.